In the 1940s, started the age of sitcom power, with the likes of Pinwright's Progress and Hancock's Half Hour. As we enter the 50s, ITV saw the success of the BBC, they realised Hancock's fame and made their first sitcom, The Army Game. So now we enter the swinging 60s where comedy had spread across all TVs. It seemed everyone had a sitcom from Dad's Army to Steptoe and Some, and most of these overlap into the 70s, but join with the likes of John Cleese entering the new comedy scene with ease. And as we see one icon in his prime with faulty towers, another one hits his stride in open all hours. We all see the birth of the last of the summer wine, the longest running British sitcom of all time, and then we enter the 80s. The golden age of sitcom, while the country battles with Thatcher unemployment and an IRA bomb, only fools it around we have Rodney Grandad and Dell on Peck and Market trying to buy and sell. Then for the poshos we have Yes Minister, the insights of the MPs being sinister. But if you fancied some anarchy, we had the young ones on a Saturday, or a more international show, we had a low hello, or something a bit madder, we had the lads at Blackadder, then whatever the weather, we have birds of a feather. Now we hit the 90s, and if a flat smelt rotten, it was probably the hit show bottom. Or visit Dave, Denise, Jim, Barb and Nan from a brew with a royal fan. Then from the north, we go to the realm of Red Dwarf. But if you're not a fan of the Red, pop in to see Father Ted. Or if you're young and a teen, you always love the absurd Mr Bean. Or a more of a religious picker, pop down to Dibley to meet the vicar. Peter Kay was hitting his heights with Max and Paddy and Phoenix Knights. And your evening was never drab with the ladies of Ab Fab. And now we enter the modern era from Motherlands of Era. Channel 4 start cracking out some winners with in between us and Friday night dinner. Cross over to Ireland for the four Irish pearls with the hilarious Derry Girls. And there are so many that deserve a mention, but these sitcoms are so perfect to break our everyday attention. Sitcoms have always picked me up from a darkest pit, made me forget and make my side split. All your problems just go away for that simple 20 minutes a day. And these shows never grow old, and if they do, well, they're always on repeat on gold.